Let's make one thing perfectly clear. Decluttering is not an activity, it's a process. Many people would think of decluttering as an activity. What do I mean by that? An activity is something that you start at some point and you finish relatively soon afterwards on the same day. Maybe you start in the morning at 10 and you intend to be done with the decluttering at half past four. While that is a nice sentiment, it doesn't quite work that way. You could think in those terms about organizing let's say, looking at a lot of paperwork and say, I'll give myself six hours to get this sorted. And usually you do, but there's a difference to it. When you organize, you don't have to constantly take decisions about keeping or letting go of things. Whereas decluttering is more about finding out what really serves you and what doesn't, and then make sure that it goes to the right place. So the organizing part is really just the last step in decluttering. The main beef of decluttering is finding out not only what serves you, but why you think it does. Because knowing why you keep something will inform your further decisions down the line. Let's say you decide, mm, I've got this cookbook and I don't really cook all that much. That will help you make clear decisions about any other cookbook you come across when you sort through your stuff. However, if you think, oh, it's a cookbook, um, let's just chuck it out. If you don't realize why, you'll have to go through the same process every single time you see a cookbook. You can see that ultimately getting to the bottom of things is a time saver. But very often it's not as easy as figuring out, well, I don't cook that much, so I don't need the cookbook. That's a fairly straightforward decision. But if you're looking at things that you have an emotional attachment to, things that may be kept out of shame, out of obligation, out of all kinds of buried emotional stuff, it'll take a bit longer to get to grips with that. And that's without taking into account that you may resist finding out why you hang on to things for dear life. Looking at decluttering, is by definition a much longer time period. It's stuff that may or may not happen on the day itself. Sometimes the penny drops weeks or months later and then you realize, oh yeah, right, that's why. And suddenly it all falls into place. So while you can take certain decisions very quickly, a lot of them take more time. And that's why it is a process. It needs time to simmer. It needs time to sit in the right surroundings for you to suddenly make the connection with everything around it. Keep that in mind when you think of decluttering. It is something that takes time. Stay clutter aware and come back for more. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.